hey guys welcome back to the channel and if you're new my name is ebony thanks for tuning in as you can see today's video is going to be on a highly requested topic and that is going to be all about custom poly mailers so if you're interested in learning how to get custom poly mailers stay tuned first before I dive into the company I use and everything I did to create those custom poly mailers I just want to briefly talk about poly mailers why they're important why you should consider getting them custom so first things first poly mailers is a mailing option a million. poly mailers are an item or a tool that you can use that you're able to put your products into so that you can ship them out to your customers so it's this bag and you put items inside of it i think y'all understand that the gist of things instead of mailing out in the regular generic white poly mailers you kind of want to give it a more custom feel because when it comes to branding your business everything must align right there has to be some sort of alignment so that people are able to identify your brands from others, right? When you think of Walmart, you think of blue and yellow. When you think of McDonald's, you think of yellow and red. When you think of Ikea, you think of blue and yellow. You immediately know their brand colors and you want people to feel the same way about your business and your brand. When people think of my brand, they automatically know the blush pink, the blacks and whites. So, when you're able to get custom poly mailers, people are able to better identify your brand, right? And just having the whole cohesiveness, having the, the colors on your website, the colors on your social media, the co colors on your graphics, um, the colors on your flight, like everything, having everything the same color, it just makes your business look more professional, more put together. And when things look more professional and put together, um, Customers trust you more and when they trust you more they spend more money with you. Okay, so if you're thinking about getting custom poly mailers made There are a couple things you do want to keep in mind. So first things first your logo most people put their logo on their custom poly mailer bags if you are going to put your logo on a bag, you need to make sure your logo, the image resolution of your logo is big enough to where if it was to be printed on a poly mailer, it will not be blurry. So I don't know if you made your own logo, if you had a graphic designer make your logo, definitely make sure they provided you with the right files that are needed so that you're able to get the right sizing for the poly mailer that you're going to purchase. You do not want to spend a lot of money and invest a lot of money into getting items custom made only for it to be a low resolution and your poly mailers come out blurry and you know, the words all smudgy looking and stuff. You just, mm -mm, mm, you just, you, you don't want that, okay? So definitely make sure if you're using your logo on your custom poly mailers that your logo is of the right size that is needed. The second thing, um, like I was just saying, you want to start thinking about the colors you're going to use in your custom poly mailer bags. If your brand has multiple colors, maybe you only want to choose one of those colors or maybe you're going to have... Uh, you're going to use all of those colors. You know, it's completely up to you because it's going to be custom. Uh, so you want to start thinking about that. You want to start thinking about the design of your poly mailer. Um, you're going to have to either create your own design or you're going to have to reach out to someone and have someone make the design for you. Because you will need a design on the bag. The next thing, the third thing that you want to think about or keep in mind is how big you want your poly mailer to be. Poly mailers come in different sizes and depending on the website that you're 
you're using for your custom poly mailers, you may be able to create your own sizes or you might have to select from the sizes that they have available. Poly mailers come in different sizes and you definitely want to know which size you are going to need for the product that you're going to ship out. Now, I can only tell you guys about the sizes that I have used, which I will go over the sizing I use for both of these bags. So yeah, so I'm gonna go over sizes a little later in the video, but that is something you wanna keep in mind. Um, you don't wanna order custom poly mailers and they end up being too small. Like maybe you order a six by four. Six by four size is probably good for like lashes, like one or two lashes. Um, a five by seven, that's kind of the same. You could probably ship out one or two lashes, maybe one bundle. Um, and, and then moving up, maybe like a, a eight by six, you could probably ship out two bundles in an eight by six. Um, standard is around 10 by 13. That is a standard size poly mailer um, that most people, you can put a t-shirt in there. Um, you can put a hair bundles multiple hair bundles closure in the frontal so 10 by 13 is really going to be your standard size if you need even bigger sizes they offer those as well but you definitely want to have some sort of idea of the sizing of the poly mailer that you need and um i'm trying to think if i have any last thing else i want to say oh i don't know if i said this but poly mailer, custom poly mailers are a really good option because when you start investing in your brand and people see that you're investing in your brand, it is easier for people to invest in you. A lot of people are scared to invest in themselves, but when you invest in yourself, when you invest in yourself and start getting items custom made, it is a great way to help you stand out in the oversaturated industry. And if you're watching this video, nine out of 10 chances, you are working in an oversaturated industry. So being able to invest in yourself, knowing that others are scared to invest in themselves, that is always going to be a factor that helps you to stand out, okay? So if you're, if you are looking on ways to help your business stand out in an oversaturated industry, investing into custom items will help you achieve that, okay? So with that being said, I am going to go ahead and reveal the company where I got my custom poly mailers from. And then I'm just gonna walk you through um, my entire design, everything I was thinking, and how strategic I was with coming up with my poly mailer design. Okay. So the company that I used to create my poly mailers, my custom poly mailers is going to be Sticker Mule. Now I'm pretty sure this is not you guys first time hearing about this company because they're awesome. They, their customer service is over and beyond. They work very fast and they give out high quality products. Now in no way, shape or form is this a sponsored video at all. I wish it was. Sticker Mule, if you're watching this and you want to sponsor me on something, you know, holla at your girl, holla, holla at your girl. But anyways, um, I do have a link down below, a referral link down below where if you want to sign up to Sticker Mule and you've never tried them before, if you use the link that I put in the description box, you will be able to earn ten dollars off of your first purchase so definitely make sure you click the link down below and get those ten dollars off your first purchase basically i'll start with this one all right so i'll start with this one okay it's a little bright so as you guys can see um this is the poly miller that i have for my hair extension brand and on the front it says everything we know what is it everything we know you'll love and then right here is a heart. Now this design was actually made in Canva. I made this design in Canva. Um, I do not remember what template I used, nor do I remember the dimensions, but the quality did come out really good. Um, the lettering isn't blurred or anything. So this is the poly mailer I created for my hair extension brand. Now, what I wanted to do with me, I know a lot of people like to put their logos 
on their poly mailers and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that but i just know that there's a lot of theft <laughs> when you're selling in an industry with a hot commodity or i don't know whatever you want to call it um hair extensions and wigs people are just obsessed with them it's so much scamming and theft going on in our industry i just don't want there to ever be my business name or my business logo or anything that is going to remotely tell the postal workers who just out of nowhere lose packages um or anybody that's just walking past someone's house to see bam hair extensions right right on the cover of the poly mailer or bam wigs or bam this so i for me i like to keep my logo and any words that will tell people what's on the inside of the package i just prefer not to put that in my custom design so what i did want to what I did want to do, I wanted to do a play on words. My business name is Everything Ebony. So I like to use the word everything in my packaging. The fonts I use on this design are the same fonts that are used in my logo. The fonts I use in this design are the same fonts I use in my logo. It's very important, you guys, when you are branding, when you use fonts, you have to use the same fonts. The same fonts that's in your logo are the same fonts that should be on your website. Should be the same fonts used in all your graphics and flyers and the same fonts used on your packaging. That is how you brand your business properly. So, um, I use the color... Um, this is one of the colors I use in my business and bam, I just put this together. Now the size of this poly mailer is 10 by 13 if I'm not mistaken. Yes. So this one is a size 10 by 13. Um, you can fit anywhere between one to about maybe six bundles in here. I've never fit six bundles in one of these packages, but I know that it could fit in here as well as a closure and frontal. So this is very good for, I know a lot of people that watch me are hair extension companies. So this is very good for your hair extensions. This is a very good size. Now on the other hand, my other package these are for my wig um bags now as i was glancing over their website for the option for poly mailers i didn't i don't know if they're still making this size when i go to poly mailers yeah they only given hold on yeah so it looks like oh that kind of sucks it looks like they are not offering this size but this size was um uh, 14 by 19 i believe and this is a design that i made in that bootleg um <laughs> if you guys watch my video on how to create a glitter a glitter logo or something like that if you guys watch that video i use this bootleg photoshop program called paint shop pro which i specifically explained it only works for people who have a Windows operating system on their device, okay? So many people say, oh my gosh, I have a MacBook. How do I get it to work for my MacBook? How do I get it to work for my iPad? That is a Mac operating system, okay? That bootleg program only works if you have Windows. When you turn on your computer and you get the dun 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 <laughs> Windows, okay? So I made this design on there. I basically just used all of the colors of my logo. Um, it's kind of bright, but you guys can't see it, but this is like a, 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 um, a blush pink and then a bright pink. And then I have my um, symbol here. I made sure it did not say weeks by Ebony. It just had my symbol. And I pretty much just called it a day. Now this packaging, um is a little too big for a wig you can fit about three wigs in here right i only needed it to be big enough to fit one wig but what i noticed was with the sizes the 10 by 13 was too little and then the next size up was the 14 by 19 which ended up being too big but you have to work with what you have available so nine out of ten chances when i put wigs in here i ended up when i take this down i end up like folding it over like this and, and then this is about the real size that it ships out at 
So those are the sizes that I use for the custom poly mailers. Um, now the other size, so they do have another size available that I've also used that sizing, which is their 7.5 inch by 12 inch poly mailer size. I did use that one. Now that one is a bit on the smaller side. I would not recommend it. That was great for shipping out an order with maybe two bundles. Um, and, and that's about it. Most of my customers, they order more than two bottles at a time. So you are really having to squeeze it into that size. So I would highly recommend that you use the 10 by 13 size poly mailers. Now, one thing I will have to say about these poly mailers, um, that I noticed is you're only able to customize the front of the bag. So only the front of the bag also on the front of the bag there's always going to be this white trim so there's always going to be this white trim around the edges so it's not going to be like pink all the way out to the side it's always going to be this white trim behind here and then also um another kind i mean it's just a kind to me but the back is going to be white the back is going to be white, which I guess that is okay because chances are you're just going to slap your um, shipping label on the back anyways. But I know some people would have preferred if the entire poly mailer was this pink color or whatever color they wanted it to be. So that is one of the downsides of getting the poly mailers with this company. Another downside is um, it would have been perfect if you're able to customize the padded poly mailers. So uh, what a padded poly mailer is, is basically a poly mailer, but the inside has the cushion in it. And typically you would like for it to have that padding or that cushion if you are shipping out, shipping out items that could be a little on a fragile side and that could possibly break. You know, hair bundles, they're not going to break. I mean, they can get slammed, stepped on. It's not going to break. It's a hair bundle. It's not like it has bones or glass or plastic. Um, however, I will say when I have to ship out clip-ins, I am a little, you know, scared that the clips will break and this poly mailer without padding. So typically outside of this, I would have to purchase um, a roll of bubble wrap so that I can wrap the extensions in the bubble wrap and then put it inside the poly mailer. But those are the two kinds that you don't get to customize both sizes, the entire poly mailer, and that their custom poly mailer option does not come with their bubble wrap. So those are my the only two kinds I have with getting custom items from this company, but the company is phenomenal. Like every poly mailer that I've received has been top quality, just as it was supposed to be. The shipping is very fast. Literally order today is here like four or five days later or anywhere between. I don't want to say that because we're during a pandemic. So I don't want y'all watching my video thinking it's going to be at your doorstep that fast. I just know it was at my doorstep that fast. Okay. Um, <laughs> so that is the company that I use to create my custom poly mailers. I hope that this video was very helpful. If you guys have any video requests, leave it down below in the comment section so that I can come back and give you guys another highly requested video. Thanks so much for watching and until next time.